Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dad. And today, I'm still technically still continuing my Disney movie marathon. So, I want to review another Disney film for you. And it's going to be, again, another live action film. Right here, folks. Uh, one, minute, one moment, I'll get it right out. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be the one titled The Black Hole. Oh yeah. You can see if you guys can see it. You yeah. got this on D V D, of course. Like I said before I was always more of a DVD buyer. I mean I got nothing against Blu ray of course, but I was always more of a DVD person. But the Black Hole is the live action film produced by the Walt Disney Studios. And yeah, it was made quite a while back, but that's fine. I review a lot of old movies anyway. So, of course, as always, let's get into the plot of this film, shall we? Oh yeah. Nearing the end of a particularly long mission, exploring deep space, a spacecraft, USS, is returning to Earth, and the crew pretty much consists of this captain, the force officer, this journalist, and this other particular character doctor and they pretty much explain that uh, about certain things and there was this robot in probably the crew they, this crew had suddenly discovered this particular black hole in space with a spaceship nearby somehow defying the hole's massive gravitational pull in some sort of matter then the shape is identified as a long lost ship that's put a that's supposed to be a part of another organization. So this particular ship father had served aboard and went missing quite a while. So of course they do decide to take upon themselves. And however, upon investigation, the crew members do encounter a mysterious gravity field surrounding this particular ship. So it becomes damaged when it drifts away from and into the black hole's intense gravity field. But the ship does manage somehow to move away and does find itself able to dog onto initially appears to be some sort of a bad vessel of some sort. This live action film turned out to be a, a lot better than I was expecting it to be originally. Yeah, I was not expecting this film to be particularly good, but to my surprise, it was actually turned out to be a really fun movie to watch. So yeah, I would say give it a chance, folks. The acting, at least for the most part anyway, wasn't too bad, I suppose, folks. I can tell there was some obvious effort with the actresses and the actors that played in this particular film. So, there's not a whole lot I can complain in the acting department of this film. Uh, which is good because this movie was, uh, was actually rather solid. I did enjoy the film, folks. Everybody does a good job in here, folks. And, yeah, this is a sci-fi Disney movie. And, yeah, yeah come, it's, in a way, it's kind of funny to think of it. Not that they own the rights to Star Wars. And, and, they, and they already made a sci-fi film during the early uh, 1970s. Yeah, what do you know? But, yeah, this was definitely worth it, folks. This adventure. And, yeah, it's pretty interesting, interesting to see half a Disney film. That's science fiction. The stuff I mean, yeah. So that's pretty cool right there, folks. And I do like this film as a whole. And it's definitely one of those better life action films lately I've seen. I know I didn't review a whole lot of live action movies from Disney. But I do plan to review more of them as soon as I can. I'm going to definitely review more live action movies for my next Disney I thought I guess you can say and yeah this is definitely a keeper folks I'll say check it out if you've not seen it yet because all together it was, uh, it was actually a well solid solid well produced film the acting wasn't too bad like I said folks the delivery the dialogue was actually rather good so there was an obvious effort being done there this film was released around the same time as the original Star Wars trilogy Although the original Star Wars trilogy had pretty much upgraded special effects at the time, the black hole was shot by mixing traditional filmmaking along with CGI as well. Well, at the time, the use of CGI at the time anyway. This film had a huge budget, folks, at 20 
million dollars plus another six million dollars for advertisement budget it was at the time the most expensive picture ever produced by the Walt Disney Company but it did get some money back I guess you can say even though it this film Black Hole did receive mixed reviews from critics but personally speaking I thought this film wasn't too bad of a movie really it was exciting and whatnot it has a solid story I mean it may not be you no know, grand masterpiece or whatnot but I would say it's worth checking out anyway because as a whole this film is was particularly good if you ask me because the story itself wasn't too bad it's easy to follow and the special effects were pretty good considering the time it was made so I mean yes of course you know the special effects may not be top quality but the special effects are actually quite good even if you, it came out during the if I remember the late 1970s yeah right around when Star Wars was being really popular so I guess this was Disney's way to put him as cash in on the whole space adventure thing so yeah folks the script writing wasn't too bad I suppose yeah this film is quite lengthy so you gotta make sure that you have the time to watch to actually watch this but yeah the uh, script writing wasn't too bad I suppose folks it, it, it never felt rushed you, you do some obvious there's, there's some obvious effort to give um, a good structure for the plot for the overall story and the characters did come up rather intriguing in their own way it's pretty enjoyable I knew that the reviews for this film weren't exactly positive but I didn't have any problems with the film at all really I thought it was quite enjoyable it was a grand adventure in outer space and the characters must go through some sort of struggle and just make it back to their normal lives and continue their adventure alive so I thought it had a pretty cool story as a whole so I would say check it out folks you can either buy it on blu-ray or DVD so give this film a chance oh yeah I mean, I mean it does have its you know family fun touch to it and not surprising you know come on it's Disney what are you expecting I mean Disney movies can become rather dark at times depending on what the movie it is I guess which I'm, which I'm all for of course but yeah folks this film has a good has great screenwriting in here folks the dialogue was really good folks all together so when it comes to that kind of thing I can't, really, I can't necessarily complain too much as a whole because again there was some obvious effort being done there and in some ways the black hole is a bit of a strange odd film but in some ways I actually didn't mind that I didn't mind the fact that it was kind of odd to some degree but it's, it works well for me folks if you ask me special effects in this film are aren't too bad folks I didn't like mind that and yeah the set designs the production designs and the special effects overall they all look fantastic as far as I'm concerned the, yeah there was a great deal of modern work in here folks and I did like the matte paintings that were used in the background to give the overall space effect feel and there were some of the best special effects considering it's an old movie so I did like how it was done folks this film did win nominee for best special effect at the Oscars so that's something it won that award in the same year as Star Trek the motion picture had came up so that's something right there so yeah folks I would say definitely check this film out I know a lot of people don't necessarily think of live action movies when they think of Disney they um, the first thing that most likely they'll come to mind is the animated stuff so I was, uh, but despite that I'll say check this film out anyway folks because it's actually not that bad really it's quite good it, it really was so uh, the black hole it gets an overall rating of a 7.3 out of 10 it gets a 7.3 out of 10 because it's a really good fun movie as always thanks for watching take care see ya Coach.